Hey guys, Chris Ray here, and today we'll be looking at my new print head. Let's get started. Okay guys, so let's start with why I decided to build my own print head. First of all, the head that came with my printer is extremely cheap as well as poorly designed. One of the major problems that I ran into is that although the literature that came with the printer claimed that it had a 0.4mm nozzle, this is definitely not the case. This caused a great deal of work to go into calibrating, testing, and figuring out the correct print settings. After many tests, it appears that the nozzle had a diameter of about 0.25mm, which although is great for fine detail, caused my prints to go horribly slow. Also, because the hot end has such a large distance between the heat zone and the cold zone, oozing was an absolute nightmare. At first, I was going to just buy a V6 hot end and print a mounting plate to use it with the stock direct drive extruder, but after some thought, I decided that a whole new print head would be a great project, as well as give me the opportunity to make my printer modular for future experiments and designs. Now, without further ado, we have my newest creation, the CPH Mark III. I designed this print head to be compact, light, modular, and most importantly, accurate. In order to meet all of these requirements, I started with the E3D Titan Extruder. This extruder is perfect for this project because it's compact, light, and uses the geared method of extruding. This gearing method may seem unimportant at first glance, however, because the extruder has a 3 to 1 ratio, I was able to use a smaller NEMA 17 pancake stepper motor. This saved not only a great deal of space, but also kept the extruder light. Next up, I chose the E3D V6 hot end. This was a no-brainer because of the overall praise the V6 receives. When ordering the V6, I questioned what all the fuss was about, but after many hours of messing around with the stock extruder and my Chinese Prusa, I have to say that the V6 is on a whole other level. The V6 and Titan work together flawlessly, keeping oozing to a minimum while retaining speed and reliability. After I had these parts, I needed the motor which wasn't that big of a deal, so I ordered the first pancake stepper that I found on Amazon. A link in the description. As I was ordering the stepper, I realized that I was forgetting one small but crucial piece, the electrical connector that will join the modular printhead with the rest of the printer. Luckily, our pals over at DigiKey have a wonderful world of components to choose from, so I promptly ordered some sleek self-locking connectors. Again, link in the description. The hardest part of the build was definitely soldering the tightly arranged wires, but with a little patience and a steady hand, the cables were finished in no time. With all of the major components decided on, I needed a frame to complete this print head. At first, my idea was to put the motor in the rear, nestled right against the X guide rods, similar to my printer bot simples design. On further inspection, however, I noticed that the slop in the X carriage caused by the Chinese tolerances was being amplified from the nozzle hanging so far away. My next plan was to mount the motor and extruder sideways, very similar to E3D's own design. It took even less trial to see that this was not an option, as I wanted to keep the original metal carriage but the extruder gear was getting in the way. My next and final design is by far the best, as well as the most odd. I figured that I tried facing the extruder straight ahead, as well as sideways, so backwards was the next evolution. At first I tried this technique just to show myself that it was a ridiculous idea, but after initial tests, there is virtually no play in the mount, as well as keeping an extremely compact and simple design. I decided to stick with this design and continued to modify it to be even lighter and more efficient. As an added bonus, I was even able to add a BL touch mount for future upgradability. With the frame complete, I was finally able to assemble my print head. Everything was coming together without any complications, and after tripling my printer's E steps, I was able to complete my first print without any complications. Overall, I have to say that this is an amazing piece of kit. Although my idea has come a long way, it's still not quite complete. I still have to figure out the best way to mount a fan for part cooling, 
as well as design more print heads to give the CPH a reason to be modular. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to let me know what you think of my design and what you would change down in the comments. Also, if you like this video, make sure to like this video and make sure to come back to see what I build next. I'm Chris and I'll see you next time.